Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Debu Tripathi at the University of Southern California and also Editor-in-Chief of Cure Magazine. Uh, this is the second day of the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, uh, a, a very important milestone meeting where researchers and clinicians in the area of breast cancer gather. It's a, the biggest meeting of its kind every year. One of the themes that was covered today is that of hormonal therapy. And hormonal therapy remains a very important part of breast cancer treatment. Uh, estrogen is one of the important drivers of breast cancer. And one of the first presentations was actually a prevention study looking at a class of drugs called aromatase inhibitors. Uh, these are drugs that have been around now for almost two decades uh, and initially used to treat advanced breast cancer. And then more recently, it's been used to treat early stage breast cancer to lower the chance of the cancer recurring. During those studies, it was noticed that uh, new cancers that developed in the other breast were lowered. And so the whole idea of using this to prevent cancer in patients who didn't have cancer but maybe were at higher risk uh, came to be and clinical trials have been performed. And one of the larger trials was reported for the first time uh, yesterday uh, and presented today uh, by Jack Kusick who uh, presented a study of thousands of women, half of which took the aromatase uh, inhibitor uh, anastrozole, also known as Arimidex or placebo, and this cut the risk of developing breast cancer by about half. So half the women develop breast cancer. The side effects of this drug, which uh, can be problematic uh, for patients with breast cancer sometimes, didn't seem as profound when they were used in the preventive setting. But there were side effects. People did have to come off due to muscle pain uh, and things of that nature. Uh, but most people were actually able to stay on it for the full five years. Now, what we don't know is whether or not uh, taking these preventive medications, that is, that cut the risk of getting breast cancer in half, actually saves lives because most of these cancers are caught at early stage. And so when you look at the number of people that die of breast cancer in one arm compared to the other, you don't quite see that yet. So it's still controversial as to whether these drugs can uh, stop deaths, but they can certainly stop breast cancer. So tamoxifen, which is already approved, raloxifen, which is already approved, and now the aromatase inhibitors, which are not yet FDA approved. Other areas uh, that were covered uh, range all the way to the biology of how uh, hormonal therapies can actually help against breast cancer. One of the things that occurs, unfortunately, in patients with advanced breast cancer is the development of drug resistance. It, it happens with all drugs, and with hormonal therapy, it's particularly important because hormone therapy generally has fewer side effects. And if we can control someone's cancer for longer uh, without having the cancer progress and having to move on to chemotherapy, that would really be uh, an important uh, step to take. So the basic science of why cancer cells become resistant to hormonal therapy was uncovered a little bit today. Mutations that uh, can make the estrogen receptor stuck in the on position, so it's essentially unresponsive to many of the hormonal therapies uh, was discussed. Several of these mutations have been uncovered over the years, but it, all that information is coming together now, and, and we now know that even though the original cancer that someone may have doesn't have these mutations, that over time, the cancer that recurs can contain these mutations. And it probably happens because a, just a tiny fraction of these cells already have the mutation at the beginning, but they get selected for. And uh, the more resistant cells die, but the, the more sensitive cells die, but the resistant ones still uh, stay around. So this is really the first step in trying to understand how we might uh, counteract this, how we can develop drugs against these uh, mutation-carrying estrogen receptors.